All right. Hey, Cancer. So we're doing a read for you guys. It's a no contact read, kind of crossing the ghosted and the it's not you. Um, so we're going to see what the dynamic is a little bit later on. First, I'm going to pull your energy and how you feel about this person. So if you don't resonate with that, you guys check those Moon Rising and Venus placements. And if you're new, welcome. I do hope that you subscribe if you like my energy, you guys. All right. So Cancer, let's see what comes through for your energy. Cancer's energy. <clears throat> what do we got? We got the full card coming through. You guys could just be like, ah, you know what? Hey, this person is taking too long to get back over here. So I think I'm going to go ahead and start something new. All right. I feel like uh, the seven of cups in reverse could be, you know, that representation of somebody treating you like an option. The hermit card is also kind of coming through in reverse. So basically it just tells me that, you know, um, you no, know, I haven't heard from them, you know, and they can kind of screw off for treating me like an option. Like I don't matter. You know, they're taking too long to come back and apologize or closure or to rekindle this dynamic, whatever it is. And I feel like the full card just represents, you know, your ambition to want to move forward and, and possibly even leave this in the past. You know, um, the seven of swords, the page of swords, excuse me, um, that, that card, you know, and the negative energy is going to be somebody who's all talk and no action. Um, and that's probably where you're kind of sitting at, especially if uh, you're you're starting to feel like maybe I was just a choice. Maybe I just, you know, uh, was an option to this person. So, um, it, you know, it's not the best energy over here, but it's like, I'm I'm not going to stay in this energy because you, you know, you, you deserve better than that. You know that. I don't got to tell you that. So how are you currently feeling about this person? How are you currently feeling about this person? <clears throat> All right. So we have the Ace of uh, Pentacles coming through. The Ace of Pentacles, the Five of Pentacles. And we have the King of Wands. Look at that. I mean, if that is not to... Even the uh, Knight of Cups in reverse, you guys. So as far as how you feel about them, it's not that you're not attracted to them. Um, physical attraction, I do feel, is pretty heavy in this. Uh, but, uh, you know, that Five of Pentacles, you know, um, again, I just feel like they, they kind of left you out in the cold, you know. I do feel like you're open um, to... Like, if they were to come through, even though you're moving on, if they were to come through... I do feel like you would be open to receiving some sort of communication just to kind of get where you're, where you need, like, Hey, sh what, show me what I need to see about you. And then I'll make my decision from there. All right. But I really feel like right now it's like, I'm not, you're not feeling the best energy about this person just because, uh, there's some player vibes coming through the Knight of cuffs and that King of wands in reverse. This is in reverse. Um, you know, that is somebody, um, who's just, they're on one, you know, um, I can't help but feel like it. They usually say that, you know, that Knight of wands, um, energy is that player card. It's not really, you know, um, they they all have that potential is what I feel, but you got two, um, court cards coming through in reverse. And I almost feel like this person definitely kind of schmoozed you, got their way, um, you know, and then bounced for whatever reason. So um, I'm going to pull to see who we're talking about. And then we're going to see how things were left between you. Okay. So their energy, they could be an earth sign. Um, so we have earth energy, strong earth energy. I'm going to say uh, you got a king and a queen coming through you guys of the same suit. You got the king of pentacles coming through in reverse and that queen of pentacles uh, I, I, I'm going to see what's happening with this person, but there could just be a little bit of a depiction that's happening here. All right. Um, that to me would suggest marriage and you got the five of wands coming through also. So you got uh, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Leo energy coming through. Um, uh, and then we have, um, the six of swords coming through, which is going to be Aquarius. Um, <clears throat> um, what I want to say is, uh, potentially, um, this person could, there could be some sort of a, a connection that a commitment, a marriage, something going on. All right. Now I, I, I don't, I hate calling the, I hate, you know, kind of receiving this energy, but I'm not going to say what I don't see. All right. Um, their energy definitely suggests that there is something more, um, about, uh, what is going on in their life. Um, the five of wands in reverse, that could indicate a fight or an argument or something that's happening, um, currently with this person. So even if you weren't kept in the dark, um, it could just be that this person is kind of having a hard time when it comes to life, not sure where they're wanting, uh, not sure what they want, not sure where they want to go next. Um, this could all be hidden of course too. All right. So we're going to see what's really happening with this, but I want to see first how things were left between you and them, how things were left between you and them. All right, so we have the Queen of Swords, and I really feel like that's a you know an expression of feelings and emotions. The Queen of Swords is somebody who um, you know it's like communication, right? So I do feel like you guys were communicating, 
communicating, excuse me. I don't feel like this is a ghosted situation, but I also feel like there was definitely some energy of the past that needed to be cleared up before like a future could be um, met between you and them. Okay. Um, and if this is not a marriage, that queen and king, um, it could just be that somebody's, you know, kind of really from the aftermath of a divorce or, or something nasty. All right. Um, and I feel like this person is basically telling you right here, Hey, you know, um, I, I, I don't want to give up on love. I don't want to give up on dating. This is where I'm at. This is my feelings and emotions. All right. But you know, for whatever reason, they're not back yet. Right. Um, they're reflecting on the past. You know, I just went through something awful and I need to go deal with that. And I need to get my heart in the right space. That's kind of what I feel like this person is telling you. So I'm going to pull and we're going to see what is really going on with this person. What is really going on with this person? All right. Okay. So what's really going on with them? Wow. Okay. I'm going to tell you this. We got the ace, the 10 of cups coming through. You guys, you know, that's the happy family card. That is the wish fulfillment card. Okay. I almost feel like this person's kind of, um, I'm going to tell you, I, I kind of feel like they might be stringing a couple of you along. We got the ace of cups and we have the ace of wands in reverse. You know, that just tells me that this person might just kind of be stringing people along and playing games. Um, you know, especially when you kind of think about, oh, you know, wife and husband are out of town or wife's out of town, husband's out of town. Um, you know, so I'm going to go play. Um, I, I cannot help but feel like this person might be just kind of stringing you along, tugging you, tugging you along. Um, I'm going to pull the, their intentions to kind of see what that energy comes with. Um, just to kind of see how real they're being with you. Their intentions. What were their intentions to begin with? Um, I, I kind of feel like there's been some sort of a reconnection or there was never anything wrong with uh, the disconnect, you know, the disconnected version of the story they may have told you. It's important not to accuse, but it is important to ask questions, especially when your intuition, um, you know, is picking up something, uh, something a little bit. I've seen that five of cups in reverse. All right. That to me tells me that, you know, that if and the empress card i'm going to tell you guys what their intentions were is almost like they they kind of know that they're not in a good place um to really evolve and grow with you a missed opportunity look at that uh i don't know hit it and quit it three of swords coming through right there and then we have the ten of swords you guys i have a feeling that this person kind of just uh, was telling you what you they think you wanted to hear um especially if it's like about the I, i'm healing i gotta you know um heal my heart i gotta grow and evolve and you know, I got to become a better version of myself before I can put myself back out there. If they were telling you that they were, um, you know, single or going through a divorce. Now, um, if they didn't say anything of that nature at all, what I'm going to tell you is um, this person, um, if they didn't say anything at all to you about what's happening, um, I'm, I, you know, I'm not ready yet kind of comes to mind. Uh, but I kind of feel like there is something very big going on in this person's life that you might not know about. And, you know, if you knew about this disconnection, a divorce, a breakup, whatever, I, I, I really do not see that energy in these cards. So again, I just, I ask you guys to please use your intuition. If you're questioning this person and their motive, you guys, it's time to start asking them questions, especially if they come back, which is what we're pulling right now. So um, a 30 day turnaround is this person coming back is it are they coming back all right look at that so remember we have that eight of oh, we have that hermit card in the reverse it's showing back up again right now uh look at that we have the knight of swords also coming through right here and we have the two of swords so if you guys have been wondering about this person i feel like there is going to be some revelations i actually do feel like they're coming back but with the wrong messages uh with that knight of swords okay i almost feel like they're still kind of keeping some behavior uh from you and that's where you're going to say um it could be the best um, energy. It could be the best sex. It could be the best whatever you've ever had um, uh, energy exchange between you and this person. But um, they're, I just feel like they're not coming through with those right intentions. Okay. So let's just see if you ask them what you need to know, if they're going to tell you the truth. Uh, if you ask, if you ask them, if you talk to them, are they going to be able to tell you the truth? Um, look at that. Oh my God, you guys. Oh, you got the devil card and the five of swords coming through with the high, the high priestess and that devil. You guys, I just, I can't help but feel like this person is going to be uh, a little bit manipulative. Um, I, I hate to say it. Uh, this is, gosh, um, and I'm not a very kind read, but you know what? Honestly, uh, my intention um, on these ones is not to break up anything. It's not to break up people. It's so that you can get the information that you need. Um, you know, a lot of times when we're trying, when we're learning to build our intuition, we need help with that um, because we don't know if we're right. Um, and I feel like all I'm doing is kind of confirming for whoever is here what you already know. 
All right. So I want to see, um, gosh, with this connection, I mean, I don't feel like there's, I, let's just see if there's any potential left. Is there going to be any potential left with this connection? Look at that. The seven of swords comes through you guys. That is gaslighting, lies, cheating, manipulation, narcissism, uh, blaming, you know, projection. I mean, if you could just ball up all the ugliness into one card, um, I feel like that is, that can be potentially worse than the devil energy. We got the five of cups coming through, um, so, you know, and the wish fulfillment card that nine of cups coming through in reverse. Honestly, I feel like you guys already have your answers. Um, but I, I, I don't think that this person's done coming around you. I do feel like they're going to reach out. Um, I gave it a 30 day intention, but what I'm going to say is ask your questions, receive your answer, and then you use your intuition on what to do next, because I feel like for whoever is here, you already kind of know. Uh, but again, the confirmation might might be nice for you guys. I'm And truly, I'm sorry. But you know what? If you resonate with me and you're not mad at me for delivering you some bad news, stay with me because I'm going to be pulling some singles reads for you guys. And we'll have some other energies come through, um, you know, uh, move away. I, I don't see this as being anything uh, committed or deep, right? So I, I would say move away. Initials for this read. We have D.A. V.K. MJ. All right, Cancer, I'm going to leave it there. You guys take care.